All right, OGD's comments is, did you test the 1080 120 frames per second or the 1080 180 frames per second? And I got to tell you, OGD's, uh, I have not, but I love shooting in slow motion. And so you gave me all the excuse I need to do it today. So first thing I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to set it up on the Canon R8. Um, it's a little convoluted more than necessary. Um, Canon makes it hard on us. I don't, I don't know why they do that, but they do. Ooh, we got a glare there. Let me fix that. Then we're going to, I'm going to show you some examples. Try to get past the glare there. I'm going to show you some examples of 120 versus 180 and give you some my thoughts on what it looks like and then give you some kind of warnings or things to be aware of when you're doing this and so this will be a quick video nice and easy first thing you got to do is turn your camera on let me see if i can get a little closer here Whoop, wrong way i always do that i always do that okay there we go this is your screen uh i'm gonna try lock and autofocus here and see where we end up Okay, so you, in order to get into slow motion, which Canon calls high frame rate, you have to go into your menu system. Fortunately, it's really easy to find. It's actually, you're looking for um, high frame rate, which is on the first, the first page of the first panel under the little, the little camera icon there. And you wanna go to high frame rate and just hit enable, okay? So that's going to put you in a position where you're already recording at 120 frames per second at standard IPG. IPG? <laughs> been thinking about something else. Um, IPB, right? So hit OK, set up. Now you're in high frame rate mode. And the reason you know that is because of this little icon right here in the corner that looks like a little HM. That's You need to remember this because there'll, there'll be times when you try to record regular video in high frame rate mode and that that's bad because you don't have any audio and your video comes out in slow motion so you're if you're trying to record regular video and you end up doing it in high frame rate mode that is going to be a bummer for you so keep that in mind keep your eye out for that now after this you'll need to change if you want to change to 120 or 180 or vice versa you have to go back into your movie record size so that is I just pressed it. So you can either do 120 or 180 uh, IPB, IPB or IPB light. So that's something to keep in mind. Once you are in high frame rate mode, I'm going to go back to the main screen here. You can just click the Q menu. I love the Q menus on Canon cameras. Um, and then click, go down here where it says record movie size. It's right here on this page. And you can go in and you can make that same adjustment. But we're going to start off with 120. Okay, and we're going to shoot some example tests. I'm going to call this the Peter Gregg example because I'm totally ripping this off from something he did one time. And he won't mind. He's a buddy of mine. We, we swap ideas a lot. But again, my plan is I'm going to shoot multiple versions of this same shot. I'm going to try to recreate this shot. Thank goodness we uh, do not have a shortage of Diet Dr. Pepper around here. Mmm. I shouldn't have done that. I'm going to start burping through the rest of this video. Um, and let's just do that. Let's let's record a quick slow motion and in 120 and 180, and then let, let's compare them and see what we think. This is how we have the shot set up. We have our dancing cat or mouse or panda bears. I don't know what it is. But he's in the background doing a little dance for us. This is nice. Uh, I really didn't like this first take because I put my hand in front of the light and it cast a shadow. And I was wanting more consistency to that than that. So I started over, cleaned everything up, reset everything up, and this is where we have it now. Now this shot, I liked. This is 120 frames per second, and I was expecting it to be maybe a little soft, but it really wasn't. It actually, it actually turned out nice. I mean, I, I don't feel the need to adjust it in post at all. You could add sharpening if you wanted, but I don't, I don't think it needs it. I think it looks really good. Um, I'll give you a second to just take this in. So I switched over to 180 frames per second and did all of this again. Now at 180 frames per second, it, it goes a lot slower. It, I don't know if you can tell by the dancing cat, but there's definitely a difference in speed here. Uh, but it, I mean, I, again, I kind of thought this might be soft. I, it's not. 
I, I'm fine with it. I really am fine with it. If I wasn't, I could add some sharpening and post. I think this is a usable, this is a usable shot for the stuff I'm going to be using slow motion for. I'll be quiet now and let you behold the glory. You know, you could crop in on this and pixel peep and decide you don't like this if you don't want to. I mean, it is 1080, so you have to compare it to 1080, but I think it's pretty decent 1080, especially compared to some of the cameras I've seen in the past. I mean, I had the C200 cinnamon camera and it was, there. that slow motion was terrible. This definitely looks better than that. And that wasn't really that long ago when that camera was made. Cheers. All right, so observations number one if you're using a crop sensor lens even with a canon adapter i have found that it will not go into high frame rate mode which means you can't use any either of these 120 or 180 with any of your efs glass what a bummer so stupid i don't understand this the rp which is like the spiritual successor to the or predecessor to this camera was had really weird restrictions like that as well it was a lot worse than this but this is what it is and it, you know i just want you to know that um so you're gonna have to use you're gonna have to use full frame glass if you want to use the high frame rate slow motion stuff okay secondly always remember to take it out of high frame rate mode excuse me you gotta hit the menu button you gotta go back into high frame rate mode hit disable Again, or you're not going to be able to record video, or you're, the video you record is going to be in slow motion. Now, it is nice that it kicks you out a slow motion file that is ready to use. There's no post processing. Some cameras will give you the 120 frames per second, but it's on a 30 frames per second timeline. All those other frames are in there, but you have to go into Final Cut and stretch them out and drop the audio. This doesn't have audio, but it does have and it's all ready to go if you're going to use it as a slow motion shot either way it has its pros and cons but that's the most convenient if you know you're recording slow motion also the file sizes are not that big because they're just 1080 30 frames per second file sizes now they're long you know they're like the that little 180 frames per second shot was darn close to two and a half minutes you know that's <laughs> you know so they're stretched out because every every minute every second is six seconds on when you're recording in slow motion like that so something to think about but the file sizes are not big like they like the 4k 60 file sizes are lastly i do get a flicker underneath my house lights so just the house lights not not this light this is a this is an amaran light that's designed to be used with video no flicker there but all of the other lights in my house will flicker at 180 frames per second not 120. so keep that in mind if you're shooting you know, if you're going to shoot inside, do 120, um, maybe test it, see if you have the same problem, or see if you even care. I care, it bothers me, but it may not bother you, you know. Also, you can just shoot outside the sun, the sun doesn't flicker. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Hope you found this helpful. Pre uh, please subscribe, and uh, I hope you're having fun with this. I know I am. That's it.